To show the effect of an increase in, in income of consumers on the market for goods and services, we have to draw a diagram of the market. That would be our first step. And remember, to draw a diagram consists of three steps. Firstly, yes, we have to name the axis, price and quantity. A market consists of demand and supply. And third step, equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. Now, in this market, something happens. There's an increase in income. An increase in income leads to an increased demand for goods and services. Now, the increase in demand for goods and services can be illustrated by a rightward shift of the demand curve. And this leads to a higher equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. Now, to show the effect then of an increase in income, also necessitates three steps. First, we start with a diagram of the market. In other words, the initial position. Then something happens, increase in demand, the second step. And thirdly, the eventual position, the new equilibrium position, P1 and Q1. If we have to show the effect of an increase in number of firms in the market for goods and services, how will we do that? Firstly, first step, we're going to draw a diagram, market for goods and services, price, quantity, demand, supply, initial equilibrium, PE, and quantity, E. This is where we start. Now something happens. There's an increase in the number of firms supplying this particular good. Increased number of firms would lead to a rightward shift of the supply curve. So, secondly, we show the effect. There is an increase in supply. And this increase in supply, the number of firms producing this particular good, led to a new equilibrium position, P1, and Q1. So to summarize, if we have to answer a question, you have to show the effect, or illustrate the effect, or what is the impact of. You start off with the initial diagram of the market. In our instance, PE and QE. That would be your first step. Secondly, you show the chains. In our example, there was an increase in the number of firms. In other words, the supply curve shifted to the right. The indication of the chains. The third step would be to indicate the new equilibrium position, P1 and Q1.